Hey everyone, so it is the beginning of April and I don't think I've ever been this excited that we are, well, we are technically in spring, but it hasn't felt like it yet. So February was warmer than average this year. So in my head, I thought that meant that we were gonna have a warmer than average spring, but March reminded us that we cannot trust mother nature and seemed like it was colder than average. So things that had sprouted even at the end of February, like some of my tulip bulbs, barely grew much in March until about the last few days and we've had some warmer than average weather. So it's just been an interesting spring so far, but we're finally in April. I can tell that my days are starting to get a little bit more full of garden tasks. So that is really exciting. But today I figure I will take you around and show you what the garden looks like early April. I'll post March's video down below. There's not a ton that's green yet in the garden, but I am starting to see more signs of life. So that is really exciting. So we'll start here out on the front deck, then we'll go around to the back deck. So let's go take a look. We'll start here in the center raised bed, but first, if you notice, I do have the little shelving unit that I got for Christmas. That's gonna replace the old rack that I used for the herb rack. I did move that outside. So things are starting to come together. In the center raised bed are tulip bulbs that I planted last, I think, end of October, early November. These, as you can see, have been coming up. So this is now my second year of overwintering bulbs in here. I didn't cover it or anything. So these seem to survive the winter fine. No issues with the bulbs getting too moist and rotting. I'm really excited about this one. I think this blend had a bunch of pinks and purples. So I can't wait to see what these look like. So this bed has bulbs. Coming over here, I have a rose bush in this container. I have two blueberries, one, two here, two raspberries. And in this raised bed in the back, I have more tulip bulbs. And you can see there's not quite as many that are sprouting compared to the center raised bed. This one is a little bit smaller. There are some other smaller containers I'll show you on the back where I have had issues with too much moisture in the soil and they did not sprout. So I'm going to assume that they're dead, but this one seems to be doing okay. So we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six that I can count there. And these two is where I sowed the beet seeds. Now, like I mentioned, March ended up being colder than average and colder than it said it was gonna be in the forecast. So none of my beet seeds yet have sprouted, but I'll keep an eye on it. And then if they don't, I can always sow some more. Then this raised bed, I still have some petunias that I've been just leaving to see if they grow back or not. I actually see some signs of new growth. So we'll kind of see what happens here, but this is also the bed that I just spread a bunch of random seeds in, native seeds, and I was really excited. I still am excited, but also a little bit stressed not knowing what this is gonna look like because I don't know what the seeds were. It was just a mixed seed packet. But you can see here, there are some sprouts coming up. So I don't know. We'll kind of see how this goes if I end up keeping everything in there. But yeah, not knowing what is growing in my garden, like specifically how it's going to look, does give me a little bit of stress. But it should be fine. Swinging over to the back side, I have one rhubarb down there and one rhubarb on the other side. You can see here that they are sprouting. And then this bed I emptied out and I have snap peas sown in here that are gonna grow up the sunflower stalks. And then I'll pull the sunflower stalks after the peas are done in spring. But if we come in here, I believe I saw Can you see it right there? It's a little peep sprout. So those are starting to sprout or one of them is starting to sprout. They're all spaced about an inch apart. So I must have at least, I don't know, 12 plants in here. So hopefully the rest of those will be sprouting soon. Back over here, that's the other rhubarb and then my aronia berry. And then in the back there I have the other sunflower stalks from the super tall sunflowers that I'm gonna use as trellises and supports this year. I do also have my hose out. I brought that outside. I haven't hooked it up yet or tested my drip system, but I will do that probably in the next week or two. And then over here is just everything piled up. So my garbage can, um, 
This silver one is what I use to take kind of plant material from this deck to the back where I have my compost. That is garden waste that I can't compost. And then I just have my cart here with some pots that I'm going to use, my drip system, everything else is still kind of shoved all the way in the corner. But by the end of this month, I think most of the things will be in their proper places. First up over here on the back deck, I have my plum tree, which I moved over to the corner because we got some strong winds. If you're anywhere in the Midwest, I'm sure you are aware of all the tornadoes that hit. We luckily didn't get any terrible weather, but we did have a little bit of stronger than normal wind. So I moved this over in the corner just to be safe. Coming over here, I have a blueberry plant and my strawberry in that metal container. Now you can see here that I do have four gray pots of tulips. These I planted last October. The pots themselves I stored in my greenhouse that I'll show you in just a second. Um, and they came back fine. I put them in the greenhouse to protect them from too much moisture, which is what killed the bulbs last year. And obviously it worked this year. Now this raised bed and this raised bed I just got last fall. I haven't grown anything in them, but I did plant bulbs in them and nothing has sprouted. So I'm going to assume since things have sprouted literally everywhere else in the garden that I probably have lost these bulbs. Now, the ones in this bed smelled rotten when I got them from Amazon. Um, the only time I've ever ordered bulbs from Amazon probably won't do it again, but I'm not completely shocked those didn't sprout. The ones in this bed I actually got from the garden center in my hometown in Indiana and they were going to be so pretty. I think they were like really pretty blue or purple tulips. I also had some daffodils which is another reason that I'm pretty sure they're dead because the daffodils would have at least sprouted by now. I'm too sad to actually dig down yet and see still living in you know slight state of denial that they're okay but I think these they're definitely more narrow they're a little bit deeper than the beds up front, but they're more narrow. So I don't know. It seems like these beds aren't large enough for the water to not rot the bulbs. Like the container's too small, similar to what happened to the pots in front of it last year. So I think I will plant bulbs next year, but I'm going to cover the beds here with tarp. That way the rain and snow won't rot them. Over here I have a small little evergreen tree that I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with. Uh, I got it around Christmas time to put some ornaments on out front. I have a taller tree here that I'm definitely going to keep on this back deck, not in this spot right here, but on the deck somewhere. Um, and then I have my composter. Then over here in this corner is the greenhouse. I don't actually know if I'm going to open it right now, but this is where my tulip bulbs were. I think the only thing that's in there right now are the hydrangeas. And then I did put the two small cherry trees in there, again, just to protect them from the wind. So I'm gonna leave that closed, I think for now, but I'll probably move everything that's in there out permanently in like the next week or two. Now I think, although you can't really trust mother nature, that we are headed into like the 50s, potentially 60 degree temps during the day. So I think that'll be a good time to get everything in the greenhouse out. And then I'm gonna use the greenhouse to harden off all of my warm weather annuals that are currently growing inside. So I think that'll be a really good use for this greenhouse. Then I'll be taking it down, storing it somewhere inside until next fall. But that is everything in my garden for early April. It's feeling like we're in garden season now. Like I know I started some seeds inside, did a little bit of like pruning in March, but now it's like every day almost I have something to do in the garden. So that's been really fun. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.